Hi. What we're looking at here is the right ascension motor pulled out of a Celestron CGEM mount and uh, it's being driven by a regulated power supply DC, straight DC uh, variable from 0 to, to 13.8 volts. The uh, encoders on the motor are being powered by a 5 volt regulated DC and uh, what you're seeing on the oscilloscope is the encoder pattern. Uh, the yellow is one channel, the blue is the other channel. The purple is actually uh, shows the DC voltage of the uh, uh, input to the uh, actual motor itself, the DC input. Now you can see as I increase the motor the the frequency in the motor is actually spinning faster as you can see all the way up to its maximum speed. Over here we can see uh, it's uh, the encoder frequency is 34 kilohertz. Uh, the max voltage uh, input is 12.5 volts DC. Uh, and as I reduce it, the speed reduces. That's typical of what you'd expect on a DC motor. Um, the, the thing here is, uh, the interesting thing about this is that as I turn down the voltage, the minimum speed that the motor will operate under no load there's no load except for the gear train the geared reduction system here as I turn this down farther and farther there when we hit 2.3 2.1 volts the motor stops now let's turn this back up a little now there's the minimum speed that we're going to get it going notice that this uh, uh, the encoder frequency is about 2.6 kilohertz. I'll explain that uh, in the text. Actually, uh, the, there are 200 and the encoder has 256 ticks per revolution of the actual motor. Uh, so 2.6 kilohertz divided by 256. Well, let's calculate it out quick. 2 uh, divided by 256 and then multiply that by 60 to get RPM. We're talking about 600 RPM right now of the motor and then uh, additional gear reduction drive the gear reduction is 50 to 1 so the actual output of the gear reduction you divide that by 50 is 12 rotations per minute now uh, in order to get side real time the this drives the word this is a one to one for every one turn of this is one turn of the uh, worm deer and that has to be one revolution in every eight minutes. One eighth RPM. So we're going at 12 RPM here, which is uh, considerably faster. So what this means is that this is about the point where uh, speed control becomes ineffective and you have to resort to position control. That's kind of an important distinction. Uh, and reading the text of what I've concluded about that. And, uh, the second thing I wanted to show here is that even at the, at the small, at, at that fast, at 12 RPMs uh, of the output of the gear reduction, the interesting thing here, and I can zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little better, just, we're just looking at one encoder signal. I'll move this over a little and you can see there's a couple things going on here that are very interesting. Number one is the encoder is, has got some jitter in it. It's not electronic jitter, that's actual variation in the speed of the motor at this point. Um, and that's, uh, if I believe I, it's about 300 RPM difference. Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> That's not very good for, uh, uh, we want a nice consistent uh, side reel movement. You need a constant motor movement. This is not going to provide it. Uh, and how do we improve that? You would